it's a late night scope. Hi and welcome, thank you for joining me. This is my website, my free opt-in for my free video series. I'll give you that. Back to me, hey, there you go. Oh, stay there. Hi Paul, nice to have you join me. Um, it's a late night scope, so there's all the different lighting and stuff. It's not very pretty. <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. As you saw from pointing at my site, my name is Barry Selby. That's the name of my site, barryselby.com. I am known as the Love Doctor, but my work is the Heartbreak Repair Specialist. So thank you for, um, what's that word? Favoriting me on Twitter, on Twitter. I appreciate that. So please share with your friends, pass the word out, and also please tap the, heart, the screen for hearts. I love accumulating those. I'm doing this now because I've had a very long day, some very good conversations, and I have a goal to get two scopes in before midnight tonight, Pacific time. One, because I committed to doing two scopes a day, and secondly, I'm part of a very cool group out of England called the Perry 10K, which I'm part of, and they have a desire to everybody put their scopes in by midnight. So I'm on a goal. So it's almost 10 p.m. here, so I'm getting them done. Commitment to myself, so keep my agreements. So the topic for tonight's scope, this love scope, because I do a love scope and also do a Perry Tips scope as well, which I'll be doing later after this. This one is about saying no to almost right. Now, what do I mean by that? I was in conversation with one of my friends earlier today who might become a client if she gets over her stuff, just saying. Um, this has come up a lot with previous friends and clients. I'm just talking about it here in case this is true for you. She has been through a lot of dates lately in her life. Oh, by the way, you'll be hearing a meowing, a big meowing in the background. That's my friend Stormy who's hanging out. It's a cat who is particularly vocal tonight. Hear it? <laughs> He's been, I haven't got home a bit a while ago, so he's like, where have you been? I want to talk to you. So I'm talking to you first. I'll get him later. What is common for many people is that they will be out dating and doing online apps or something like that, and they'll meet someone who's almost right. And so they'll try and make themselves contort and fit into the paradigm of that relationship that they can have with them, or try and contort and fit the other person into what they want in a relationship. And this is a common experience. I've done it myself, so I'm not immune to this one. The truth for many people is they're not really getting what they want, but they think it's the best they're going to be able to get. And if that's your, your model, your experience, I want to let you know you don't have to do that. Yes, sometimes it's nicer to be with someone than to be alone. But if you do that, you're limiting your opportunity to have what you really want. So instead of committing to holding out for the best you can have, you commit to second best. And frankly, I don't think anybody wants that. If they know they can have number one, why would you go for number two? So what I want to let you know is that sometimes you get the also ran. You get tempted by something or someone who's attractive and fits all the qualities almost of what you want, but not quite. I believe that's spirit, God, higher self, Cupid, testing you. Checking to see if you're really clear about what you want and if you're going to stick to your guns of what you believe you want. Because so many people don't. I um, have done it a few times where I was basically had a clear thing of what I wanted, a clear vision. Yes, thank you, Stormy. I appreciate that. Clear vision of what you wanted to have. Oh, sorry, clear vision of what I wanted to have. And then met someone and go, close enough. And then got in a relationship that lasted a few months. And at the same time, I was kicking myself because I knew it wasn't what I really wanted. I knew there were things that she didn't bring or didn't have or didn't want to do that didn't match what I wanted. So I'm telling you, it's not worth the delays. If you really want true, amazing relationship, you deserve it. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. If you really want to have an amazing relationship, it's worth holding out for what you want. It's that simple. Well, caveat, it's that simple if you have a clear vision, image, picture, whatever you want to call it, of what you're looking for in a relationship. If you don't have a clue, then those almost random relationships are giving you hints. And you can use those as reflections, feedback. You've been on 17 dates in the last three months. Is that good or bad? I mean, how, what was your track record like? You can let me know how that was. But I'll say one thing on the caveat whilst you're writing that. Tinder, Match.com, any of these social media apps or websites will provide you with options. But again, until you're clear about what you want, it doesn't matter, well, matter what those options are. If the options you're given seem okay, so what? 
If it stirs your soul, great. But it helps if you know what it is that will stir your soul before you go on the Tinder dates. I mean, just saying. I was putting, I put on Facebook the other day, there's a new app out, and you can find it in the App Store. Not great, didn't have a connection with any. So let me just say a couple of things to that. Well, as I've already said, getting clear about what you want first is a big piece of the puzzle. And I was joking um, a few days ago, a couple of days ago, there was a, I saw a, a, a Facebook post come across my newsfeed for a new app. And you can find it in the App Store. It's called Sizzle, without an E. It's a dating app for bacon lovers. Yes, yeah, seriously. A dating app for bacon lovers. Now, just so you know, the company that made it is Oscar Mayer, who in the States is a very big pork product company. So I think it's a bit of marketing. I mean, it's, yeah, exactly. It just cracked me up. And it's like, seriously, but the app, it, it plays out. And it's interesting because the ad is very funny. It's very cute. But it's that swiping idea done with real people. So you've got to watch the app. It's on um, Brightshore, I think. And if you look, if you do a Google search for Sizzle without the E app, you'll see a, a, a video for it. It's in the App Store for the, for the iPhone. You probably use for the Droid 2. The reviews say it's crappy as an app because there's nobody on it and it doesn't function very well. So I'm not saying it's a good app, but the idea just cracked me up. So at least, I'm gonna be, let, me be, let me be clear about this. As an example, that app is great because it already presupposes that anybody on the app is somebody who likes bacon. That might be a deal breaker for you if they don't like bacon. In which case, that's a step up. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anything that stacks the deck in your favor is better, yes? So I just wanna to say to you that it's important to have a list of what you want. Thank you for those, Elena, appreciate it. Um, but I wanna say this, let me just say it from what I do, what, I, what I'm about. My mission is to help my clients, particularly women usually, but I work with men as well, who want to get clear about what they want and want to clear the blocks that are in the way of it. That simple. Again, not always easy because there's a piece of the puzzle. I have an eight week program for women called The Dating Advantage, which helps them get clear about what they want and gives them steps to create the magnetic attraction of what they really want to get. Then they go on Tinder or Match.com or eHarmony or Plenty of Fish or whatever, but their selection criteria and their magnetism will shift to attract more of what they want and less scattershot, if that makes sense. When I coach my clients, the same thing is true. I just do that more manually and it's more customized to where they go. And right now, um, would I advise, would I advise cold approaching women in the street rather than apps? I wouldn't advise necessarily either ones till you know what you're really looking for. Because cold approaching women in the street could get you arrested <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but it's not about that. It's back to what do you want inside? Because a lot of us are externally oriented. Our society teaches us to find satisfaction and fulfillment by what's out there. And I'm saying what you need to do is get clear about what's in here. Get clear about what you really want. Whether it's by making, by writing in a journal, making notes, drawing pictures, whatever that is for you. And I have lots of processes and practices I give my clients. So if you want help with that, that's what I provide. But you can do it yourself if you want to. You do a vision board if you know what those are, or you do a journal list of what you want to create and attract. Do that first because that clarifies your vision. When you know what you're looking for, then when you're out in the street, or in the coffee shop, or on an app, or in a social environment, you'll be finding yourself energetically noticing out there, like a, like a divining rod, what it is you're looking for. So that's the key, is to have clarity, to have a vision. You just joined, oh, what is the golf, oh, you just joined? Well, I say you can go back and watch it at the beginning, but to give you a bottom, bottom line bullet point, I was still, let me recap for those who missed the early part. I was talking to a friend today, and this is true for many people I've talked to, so this is not unusual, where she is dating a guy who is almost what she wants, but he's not providing what she really wants. Because they have a great rapport, they're getting really well, they have great dates, but what she wants is marriage and family, and he doesn't have a life that fits that. So it's like she's hoping for him to change, and he won't. So she's holding out hope, and the clock is ticking. That's exactly who I am. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Also the heartbreak repair specialist because my passion is helping women heal their hearts who really want amazing relationships. That's my real juice. But my friends call me the love doctor because I tend to be that for them. <laughs> I, I diagnose their issues and, pro and propose solutions. So that's the, that's the trigger point for this. So what I'm saying to you is if you're not willing to settle, what, what if she doesn't want marriage and kids? Well, then they'll probably be happy. But right now, when I talk to her today, and this has been going on for quite a while, I've been finding out, because she reveals stuff to me today, and I won't say her name because it's not part of this conversation. She told me that she'd been with the seamless guy for quite a long time, and they broke up twice because he wasn't shifting. And when she finally got clarity was what she wants, he can't provide or won't provide. 
and she's not willing to hold out for hope for two, three, four years. So I said, you've got to be willing to hold out for what you want and let go of what's not working. That is the clarity I'm trying to teach everybody because we can't, we don't want to settle for second best. What we want is what's really true for us, our best choice. But if you don't know what that is, how do you know when you're going to get it? So that's what I'm trying to say in this repeated cycle, but it's what I'm going to, maybe I'm going to drum this home to you. <laughs> my passion, my work, my service is to help my clients have clarity, have healing, and have vision about what they really want so they can attract an amazing relationship. So if you want to find out more about that, please go to my website, which is barryselby.com. Yeah. That's my site there, barryselby.com. There's a video series on there. And if I was trying to tap my screen, if you go to uh, the top left-hand icon right above the TLC, you'll get to go to my, um, yeah, let me zoom in on that. Let's rewrite your romance story. This is a screen we can sign and opt in for a consult. Back there. Um, you can get there for a consult to find out what you're looking for. I can help you. It's like a 30-minute chat for free. Book it. If you're not in LA, you can do it by Skype or by phone. If you're local in LA, we can talk in person. I'm here to help you. If you know what you want, great. If you don't know what you want, I can help you get there. I have coaching, I have programs, and I have things to help you get what you want, but you've got to be willing to reach out. Okay? Um, and if you're a late woman who wants help, I have a program built for you. And if you're a man or woman who wants help, I have coaching either way. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate you watching. I'm signing off because it's already t over to 10 o'clock at night and I've got one more scope to do before midnight. That's going to be my Perry Tips, the final one for the day. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow at my normal time. Actually, my normal time is getting to be early in the day, so it's probably me around... Well, depends on what clients tomorrow. I've got to figure out my schedule. You're very welcome, Paul. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this gave you some insights and input. Um, every chef, if you want some help, again... Again, you're very welcome. Thank you for watching, Miss Elena. Appreciate it. Please share this with your friends and watch the replay. Tap on the screen, give hearts when you watch the replay. I appreciate that. Share my website with clients, friends of yours, anybody you know who's struggling with this who wants to make a difference in their lives and have what they want. That's my passion and my service. I'll be back on again tomorrow and with a love scope and a peri tip. We've got one more peri tip coming tonight. This is my uh, work, my vision. Um, sorry, again. Notifications on my screen is another thing I remember. Turn off notifications when I'm doing these scopes. Take care of yourselves. Have a great night. For my folks in Perry 10K, I'll be hoping you're watching this in the morning, your time. Enjoy the scope. Please tap on the screen. Lots of hearts. I appreciate that. And I'll be speaking to you folks tomorrow as well. Um, take care of yourselves and watch my scopes. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Check out my website. Sign up for the free email list. Sorry, sign up for the free video series. Book a consult. Buy my programs. Get my stuff. <laughs> okay. It's late night. I'm done for the day. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the hearts. Hopefully this gave you some insight, some food for thought, and perhaps a change of heart. Go out there and love yourself first and see what attracts back. All right? Take care of yourselves. I will see you tomorrow.